What is up you guys, welcome back to another video, hope that you guys are all having a great day today and today is going to be a little bit of a different video. So today I'm actually going to be doing a tank tour of all the tanks at the fish store that I work at, what's a pet store, but I look at it as a fish store. But anyways, I'm going to be doing a tank tour there and it's not the most aesthetic fish room or anything like that, but for it being there 49 years, it gets the dang job done and it's a really, really nice fish room for being that old. The name of the store is Wet Pets. It's located in Montgomery, Alabama and if you are ever coming through Montgomery or coming near Montgomery, you've got to make sure that you stop at this fish store. You just, you have to. I'm not recommending it. I'm saying like you've got to stop it. You just have to. You don't see a lot of mom and pop type fish stores anymore and this is one of those kind of fish stores and it has that kind of feel as well. My grandma actually took me and one of my friends there about five or six years ago because she was actually going there when she was a lot younger so she ended up taking me there and one of my friends when I was like just starting to get into fish tanks and fast forward about five or six years later and now I'm working there. So it's not a very big fish store but like I said it's really really cool and we're gonna go check it out today. But I want to give you guys a quick update on the arrow crab you can see them right back there just slowly moving around getting on the rocks getting off of them back onto the sand kind of moving around just picking around as an arrow crab would now look at his two little arms there look at them with the blue claws on them that is so cool looking yeah he is doing really really good but without any further ado let's go and head on over there and check out the store
So really quickly, this is actually the goldfish side of the fish room over here. You can see we got the feeders down there. Got some big old Ryukins up there, some little baby butterfly koi. Not the same batch, but based the same kind that I put in my pond. Got some little bit bigger butterfly koi over here. Some little bit bigger comets, some uh, fantails, and one Aranda right in there. And then down here we have some bigger comets and some uh, kind of medium sized koi. And it's actually a bicer right back there. If he would come around the corner, you could get a better look at him. But you can see him peeping around right over there. And then over here, this is our saltwater side. This whole entire wall right here is. Got some domino damsels in there, some engineer gobies up here, just a few little yellowtail damsels. Over here, got a big old dog face puffer, a fox face, some tomato clowns and a fox face, giant snowflake eel that someone brought in, a lunar rasp right there, a trigger, another snowflake, and then a, a grouper in here somewhere. Oh, there he is. That guy's an absolute pig. And then up here, this line, he is all by himself, but this guy can take and destroy some minnows. Some black oscillaris, and some regular oscillaris up here, some pajama cardinals, selfin tanks. This right on here is our live rock tank. The next it is the coral tank. You can see there's some nice looking hammers in there. Starting to open up, a guy brought these in. They're still kind of adjusting to this new tank. There's some candy cane corals, both of those I have in my tank. And then up here, there's a giant long tentacle anemone with some peppermint shrimp around it. And there's some rock anemones right there. I'm actually gonna be getting one of these today. You guys will see that in the next video. And then right up there, there's a nice looking little seahorse. Come over to this side, this is all of the freshwater tanks. This over here is kind of like a quarantine type tank. Got the feeder guppy tank, the rosy reds, and then some five for five comets up there. And then over here, this is the African cichlid tank at the moment. You can see there's some nice looking yellow OBs in there, some albano dragon bloods, and just some really, really nice looking peacocks in there. And then up here, got a few lemon cichlids, some peacocks in there. And then over here, got a few blue grommies, a few frontosa, and some cynodonis cats, little bitty baby ones right there. Slot over here, some white skirt tetras, another frontosa, and a few different other types of tetras and mollies in there. Got some really, really nice looking tiger barbs over here, some Buenos Aires tetras, and a few big serpes. Got a few more serpes right there. Got some candy canes and actually some fancy serpes. And then a few brilliant rasboras down here. Got some channel cats, albano and regular, and some little bit like medium size blue cars. Check those guys out. Looking great. And then over here, just some like medium size plecos and a few little baby African cichlids. And then check this guy. This is actually a lima shovel nose. Usually gets the tiger shovel noses in, but check that guy out. Just kind of mopping around the bottom looking for some food. That guy looks so cool. Got some really, really nice albino Oscars over here. Check those guys out. Just popping coloration. We actually have them separated from the other albino Oscars, which are right over there. Up here, got a few platies and some Chinese algae eaters. Got some gold barbs, some sister tails. Got a few Jack Dempsey's and convicts and an orange crayfish right there. Check that guy out. And then check this out. He had actually ordered some platinum angelfish. And look what we got. They sent us actually two what we think are called platinum parrotfish. We actually had to look it up. Uh, but it looks like a parrotfish and a pink convict mix. And that's what they are. They're, they've been in a really great new You can see the other one going after the other one there. But they're really, really healthy and just are really, really cool looking fish. But got a few red eye tetras in there, some more gold barbs. Down here, got two big old gold severums and then two green severums We're trying to nurse back to health and then a whole bunch of little plecos. Over here, just a few iridescent sharks and some gold grommies and some albino bristle noses down there. Up here, we got some baby blue cars and some dojos and actually a few gold realms. Really, really nice looking one right there. Down here, we got some baby pakus who are kind of hurled in the corner, but uh, they're really healthy looking. And up here, we actually have some albino long fin zebra danios. Check those guys out. They're really, really nice looking. A few Colombian tetras and a few more baby blue cars. Got some black skirt tetras, one lonely blue car, and then I actually wanted the geophagus that I have in my tank. I might just end up going in and getting this guy. He was the smallest one out of the batch that he got in for me. And then there's a few ballast sharks right back there. Then over here, this is the glowfish tank. You can see we have five different colors of the glow tetras in here. And then a ton, and I mean a ton of peppered quarries. And then a few of the long fin albino bushy nose plecos. Down here, you got a few tiger barbs and a whole bunch of crayfish. And then you slide over here, you got a few pictus cats and a few giant danios and one Buenos area right in there. Right over here in this tank, we have some really, really big convict cichlids that some people have brought in over the past few days. There's a giant one right back there. That one's huge, that one's big, that one's huge, that one is pretty dang big. And then over here, we have a whole bunch of convicts that a guy brought in today. There's just 
tons of them. You, need, you guys need to come and buy some of these if you're in the area for sure. Got a few red hooks over here and then some neon, some guppies, ghost shrimp, tiger oscars, albino oscars, and a few parrots. Well that's going to be pretty much it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed that tour and like I said, if you ever come in by Montgomery or come in near Montgomery, you got to stop at this fish store. You just you got to see what it is. Such a cool little fish store and you're going to see stuff there that you're not going to find at other places and you're also going to get a lot more one-on-one -on -one help there than you are at you know, a big store like Pet Co or Pet Smart or something like that and half the time they don't even know what the heck they're selling you anyways. If you guys want me to do more videos like this definitely let me know down below in the comments. With that being said you guys, I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace!